Today you're going to be investigating this question. How does light affect the rate of photosynthesis? And the way you're going to do that is by testing for starch. I have two plants, one that's been kept in the light and one that's been kept in the dark. And you need to make a prediction as to which one you think uh, is going to show more starch based on if it's been kept in the light or if it's been kept in the dark. You need to explain why you think this and give a scientific reason for your prediction. So first off our method, you're using uh, Bunsen burners and there is ethanol. So those would be kept apart from each other. You won't be given the ethanol until all of the Bunsen burners are off because it's flammable. So first off, you're going to take a leaf from uh, either the dark or the light, depending on which one your teacher has told you to do, and you're going to draw around it in your book. Then you're going to place that uh, leaf in a beaker of boiling water for 30 seconds. So first off, you need to get your water boiling. I've taken to start this off, I've taken the boiling water out of the tap, I've got a heat proof mat, Bunsen burner, tripod, gauze and my boiling water and once that's started to boil I can put in my leaf. While you're waiting for your water to boil you can draw your results table. To draw the results table you first need to draw a T. And in your investigation, whatever you are changing will be the independent variable. You have decided to change it, so you are independent. The independent variable always goes on the left-hand side, and the dependent variable goes on the right-hand side. And the strange way I use to remember is uh, what do you need to buy alcohol? ID. So I and D. So I write my independent variable into the top of this column here. And the thing that's different about these plants is that one has been kept in the light and one has been kept in the dark, so the light condition. Now, my independent variable has given me two categories, and because this data is categoric, I can't draw a line graph. I will have to draw a bar chart. The results that we're going to take are if starch is present in the leaf, depending on if it's been kept in the light or if it's been kept in the dark. So, Whatever depends on the light condition is our dependent variable. So if starch is present, and I'll be able to write yes or no, depending on if the colour goes uh, black or if it stays orange. Iodine will turn black in the presence of starch. The water has now started to boil, so I can add the leaf. And I time 30 seconds. That's 30 seconds up. I can now turn off the Bunsen. Now that all the Bunsen burners are away, we can get the ethanol. So you're going to need to take your leaf out of the hot water, so you need to be careful here. So before you do, place two fingers full of ethanol into a boiling tube using the PET. Now, using the tweezers, take out your leaf and put it into the ethanol. And swirl it around. You're going to leave that there for five minutes. After five minutes, you can take your leaf out of your ethanol. and you will need to rinse it in some distilled water just to get the extra ethanol off. I'm just going to do that over my Bunsen so the extra water can go into the beaker. It should soften the leaf up as well. I'm then going to lie my leaf flat onto a white tile. So I can then add three to four drops of iodine onto my leaf. And if it is turned blue, black, then there will be starch present. After maybe a minute, you will see that this leaf has now turned black. And so it shows that starch is present in this leaf. 
As a result of photosynthesis, starch has been made. Redraw the leaf in your book and show the areas and show the areas that are darker than others. During the time that you have taken to do one plant, another group can do the other plant. So collect your results uh, from the other group for the other light condition. You will need to write a PEE to analyse and interpret your data. So first off, looking at your results, your point will be, where is starch more present? For example, starch is present in the light condition and not present in the dark condition. Evidence for this is when tested for starch, the light condition turned black and the dark condition stayed orange. In order to explain on the last point, you may need to look up some information. You can do this by getting page 128 to 129 in the AQA textbook, which has this practical here with uh, an explanation of what has happened.